My name is Salvador Salord Pons, and I am the Associate Curator of European Paintings at the Detroit Institute of Arts. The head of a king entered the collection in 1931. Since the DIA acquired it, it was considered a great work of art, a work of great quality, especially because of its artistic quality. If you look carefully to the relief, you'll see that the carving in the cheek is done very soft, while the carving in the jaw is rougher. This allowed the artist to render the volume of this head of a king in a masterly way. In fact, the object uh, it was included in very important international exhibitions and it was on display in the galleries many times. If you look at the head of a king, you'll see that there is only one piece missing right here where the cobra is in the upper left corner. But the rest of the object looks in perfect condition. This object is considered, it looks as if it is a neat fragment. What is a neat fragment? A neat fragment is an object that has come to us with very few damages. If you look at the object, you'll see that only the part of the cobra on the left upper corner is damaged, while the rest of the object is almost in perfect condition. This is actually very appealing to the buyer who wants to acquire this piece, but it's also, uh, let's put it this way, like a trap. You know, they are actually selling you something that looks very well, but actually is maybe not authentic. You see that it's uh, made with uh, red granite. And when the DIA acquired uh, the object, uh, we were told that its provenance was a Ptolemaic temple that was uh, located in the Nile Delta. That was quite difficult to believe because the object, as we said, has this uh, stylistic characteristic that could be related to this 16th or 18th century, but not to the Ptolemaic times. So the provenance and the style of the work did not match. In the photographic uh, files of uh, this dealer, Oxan Aslanian, we found that there were photographs of all these Egyptian works of art. In fact, Oxan Aslanian was very much familiar with Egyptian art. He even lived in Egypt. Oxlan Aslanian actually was the forger behind all these wonderful but forged Egyptian works of art. As a curator, I personally think it's very important to know if this work is authentic or a fake. But as an art lover, as someone who uh, visits this exhibition and enjoys the uh, quality of this art piece, I think its craftsmanship is outstanding. And uh, I wouldn't mind to own a work of art of this quality. Even though the piece is, is really fantastic and we can still enjoy it very much, now that you know that this Egyptian relief, it's a fake. Can you still enjoy it as much as if you didn't know that it was a fake, as if it were authentic? Because the piece has not changed. Only our understanding of it has changed. <laughs>